What up, Ke? What up, what up? All right, today we're talking about multimedia projects and just the details of what they entail. Um, we're going to go ahead with my drawing. Eventually, I'll bring a sculpture out or something that I made. But uh, So this is an ink drawing. Okay, so... Well, that's not an ink drawing, so it's a multimedia on canvas. That's, that's, that's what it is. Multimedia on canvas and has ink, Sharpie, watercolor pencil, ink, I said that, calligraphy pen, and then I use contour lines for the background. Maybe you can spot what it is. And then I used cross hatching around the border. And then in some areas in the actual drawing to give it tone and depth, right? So I could really go back into this and give it more depth now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more. So that goes with saying you learn more tools, you learn more knowledge as you continue to develop as an artist and then you look back at your old work and you want to use those tools but like normal artists you rummage through your stuff and you throw them away right <laughs> uh, because it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to but that's because you didn't have access to the tools or the knowledge that you needed at the time so yeah i'm kind of in that boat at times and I can think of a couple paintings off the top of my head right now that I, I actually am trying to look for, but I'm in that situation. So with multimedia projects, I think you develop uh, more skills. I'm not going to say it's better because you can always uh, hone down charcoal, pencil, pen. You've seen those pen drawings, charcoal drawings that are just phenomenal. And maybe that's all that artist uh, does or did. For that time, you know, they stick to just one medium and then they uh, just move on from that phase. I don't want to say they grow out of that phase because, I mean, the, that artwork sometimes is timeless. You know, it was just good and they just decided to do something else at that time. Because uh, these these projects that, that look great, they take a lot of time. And uh, I wouldn't say it's called burnout, but you just don't really know you want to try something else and that's what it is and then eventually you come back to that medium uh, such as charcoal for me uh, I totally did not use those pencils for a while and here is my kit my charcoal kit slash graphite and blenders let me oh, see I'm gonna drop everything watch okay so let's all right, so you see those white shavings? That's from that blender I was talking about last time. You can't really sharpen it, and it makes an absolute mess. This, uh, the tortillon, the blender, okay? So let me see. That thing. All right. And then this other side, a little neater. Uh, variety of graphite and uh, charcoal pencils. And then these holders for once the pencils get smaller from sharpening and using them so much. There's these pencil holders. And then I guess if you really want to have a delicate touch, you can also use them. Because uh, the further away, kind of like this brush I have in my hand, right? So if you, you can't, I mean, you, you can paint like that once you're just slapping it on there. But once you start going for finer detail, you kind of want to be, be at the back of the... Uh, tool because you, you know the the pencil paint or paintbrush whatever it's a tool so there's that i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something um i know i have making these videos every day is a little bit better i hope um and there's that please like share subscribe comment let me know what you think uh, appreciate your time and uh goodbye ciao